I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to the players of the People's Post Code Lottery for supporting our home coach campaign. You are connecting our greenhouse sports coaches like myself to our kids during lockdown with these videos. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, welcome back to another volleyball session of the Greenhouse Sports Home Coach Series. And I have some good news for you as well for this week. I am taking over Greenhouse Sports Instagram account tomorrow on Tuesday and on Thursday at lunchtime. Both days we are going to be having a full body blast, but a very short one. Five minute warm up, five minute cool down and 20 minutes hard work in the middle. So make sure that you join me at Greenhouse Sports on Instagram and we can work out together and make sure that you say hi to me, give me a nice wave so I know I'm not alone jumping around there. And when you're ready for workout, make sure you have your greenhouse tea on, you have your water bottle ready and let's get started. So first of all, let's have our one-handed digs with our forearms. Let's do 70 on the wall, so 35 with each hand. And let's continue with little digs on the wall. And once you have your comfort and your balance, you can please move back at least three or four steps and then move back towards the wall. So keep going short and work your way back to long digs and then go back again towards the wall. And let's switch over to volleys, mini volleys on the ground, go down to both knees and then stand up. Let's do 20 of these. Let's repeat what we've done with the digs. Nice and high volley. Start with super short ones close to the wall and work your way back at least three, four steps behind. Try to volley to the very same spot and try to keep your volleys very consistent and your ball not rolling around. For good ball control, try to move your hands at exactly at the same time. So work in the exact same way and try to work a lot with those wrists triangle to square, push that ball with the wrist and help a little bit with the elbow. So the elbows are going completely straight as well. The further you go, the further you push the ball, the straighter they go as well. Let's work a little bit on our blocking. There are two very important things you have to focus. The first one is that you reach as high as you can and then you only reach over with your, the top of your hand and with your fingers. Your arms should not touch the net because that is a foul and the referee will call you. The second one is that you're keeping, again, keeping the whole body away from the wall. You don't fall into the net when you block. So keeping these two things in mind, give it a few try. Find a nice and high spot that you're trying to reach and touch it with your fingertips. Make sure the hands are starting just below your face a nice and high jump touching that high spot. Once you feel ready, let's go one step left, one step right, nice and quick. Again, very important, don't touch the wall at all, only with the top of your fingertips at the highest point. And try to stay close to the wall, don't move back after your jump. Nice and high just to jump up and down, not forward and not backward. So try nice and high touches, close to the wall, hands in front of your face. But unfortunately we are not as lucky always that the ball comes right at us or just one step away, so let's practice when we have to move a little bit. So our footwork is open, cross, close. You're still keeping those hands around your shoulder height. So open with the feet to the direction you're going with, cross and close. What is going to be very important here that again you do not touch that ball and secondly that you do not step out to do it because when you come back it's very likely that you're going to jump into the net and the referee is going to call a foul. So keep nice and close, open with your feet, open the rest of the body, step across and close next to it. Once you feel comfortable, you can really go for it. Try to do it as fast as you can and try to reach as high as you can. 
try your best not to break your favorite long sleeve as I have just done it during this practice so make sure you do not touch that wall at all another very important thing is when you close you really really close down because if you keep staying opened the attacker can swipe the ball off your hands and your teammates will not be able to recover what you're really trying to do is to get to the ball very quick and push it down back at the opponent's side And lastly, this is for the times when the ball is really, really far from us. So we're going to still open, cross, but instead of close, we're going to have a little hop. Open, cross, hop. And you're going to make sure that you're only jumping up and down. We're trying not to travel during or after our jump left or right because we should have a teammate over there we should be blocking together and we really don't want to crash into them so really try to focus on closing those feet down and just jumping up and down that's the beauty in this that's what, why it's really really hard because we cannot travel however fast we are going challenge for all of you is spike your ball on the wall and then have two touches to yourself and then hit it again now the three touches is counted as one let me know how many did you manage to do A big well done to everybody who have completed the session with me today. I am very proud of you. Make sure you send me some videos. Let me know how it went. Tag Greenhouse Sports and make sure that you come tomorrow and on Thursday at lunchtime at 12 o'clock to work out with me on Instagram Live. Bye everyone. Have a nice rest of your day.